All right, so let's make a very simple example. So when you open the software, you will see this screen. Now in this screen, you have to enter your ID and password. And if you don't have that, you can request our free trial license here. So when you click this button, you will be redirected to a website where you can put your details and you will get a free trial license. So if you have your trial license, you can put your ID and password. So I will enter mine. So once you enter it, you have to press login. So once you do that, you will get to this window. So what happened in this window, we have, first of all, run the simulation editor. So we're gonna make most of our simulation in this one. So we can program our robot in this window. And then here you can use the simulation player. So you have already have predefined simulations and you can play that here. And in the third one, run the system editor. You can define your own robot here. So you can make your own robot. So let's do the first one. So I will do the run simulation editor. So in this one, when I click on this window, you will redirect it to this window. Now here you will see some options here. It says basic, cube, sphere, strip, and text. So what we're gonna do, first of all, we will take a small robot. So it's very easy, just click on this drop down menu and I will go to mbot. Mbot is the most common bot which I use here. So when you click on the Mbot, it will be deployed like this. So that's your Mbot. And if you wanna, if you wanna see the details, you can uh, zoom in, you can zoom out with your mouse and you can rotate also using your mouse, quite easy. So you can see this has some sensors in the front, looks like his eyes, kind of look like his body. And it has some circuitry on that term just to uh, give you a realization that it can be programmed, okay? Now, it's quite easy when you try to move the robot. For example, you will see a small gimbal, and here you can move the robot in different axes, all right? And this robot comes with the physics. So if it's hitting an object, it will have, some, have a physics engine inside, so it will re make a realistic appearance. Okay, so I want to program this. Let's say a small program. We want to move this robot with our keyboard. So if I press the key up, it should move forward. If I press the key down, it should move backward. And similarly for left and right, it should turn around. Very simple. So if you want to program this robot, all you have to do is select the robot first, and then you will find this window. And here you will click, and you will see there are two platforms. One is Scratch. Now Scratch is the most easiest way to program. So I will use Scratch in these examples. Python is a programming language. You all know about that. You have to type your code and the robot will move. So let's start with the Scratch. Now in the Scratch, when I click on the Scratch, it will it will offer you two options. One is run the program or edit the program. And second one is load the program from the cloud. So in the cloud, there are se several programs. For example, these two at the moment. I can load this program for this bot. Similarly, for different types of robot here, we have different types of program in the server. So I'm gonna create my new programs. In this case, I will select Scratch again and click on this icon. So now I have a Scratch editor. And this is the most basic and easiest way to program because it has just blocks. And if you are familiar with Scratch, you might notice that this is the easiest way. All right, so we have to program the robot such that when I click forward, it moves forward, backward, left and right. So I'm gonna use this window, this is called event. And in event window, you have several blocks. So it will take the first block and it says when space keys pressed, so I can change the key. I will say when up key is pressed. Okay, so when I press the up key from my keyboard, what will happen? I want to move the robot, so I go to mbot. So mbot has a different nodes or different blocks for this robot. So I will click this one and select it here. So if you see this, this shape, if I put it like this, right? If I do it like this, this is not connected. So it should stick to this block. So when up key is pressed, this will be executed, which means right motor 100% power or speed and left motor 100% as well. So when I press up, it will move forward. So let's try if it works. So I go to play and I go to my window and now this is running and I press my key and you see this is keep moving. But I don't want that. I want if I release, it should stop. How to do that? Very simple. Go back to scratch. And you will see when keys released. This is another block. Which keys release when up keys release? Very simple. Go to the bot and take another one of that. And in this case, I will put zero because zero means breaks. It will stop. Let's give it a try. So I run the simulation and let's go to the robot. 
here we go not good good position so i'm going to press my key and i release it stops very easy this is just like you do in the games you have some pc games computer games and you press forward the car moves forward you release it stops so something like that which we did now we do this similarly for the reverse and the right and the left quite easy so let's go back to my scratch editor and i'm going to go to okay first you have to stop the program if you want to edit it so i will stop it and now i will do that again this was for up i will put it here so one is for pressed one is for release for the down one is for pressed one is for release for the left this is to press this is to release for the right so i will check down here this one left left right right so what will happen when the down key is press in this case it should come back and that's quite easy what you have to do just instead of 100 put minus 100 and here as well just put the minus so it will start coming back and when you release the back key it should stop so similarly you will take the same parameters here zero zero so it will stop now talk about the left key in the left key it should turn left now if you imagine if it turns left the right motor is running and the left motor you can maybe stop or maybe you can put it reverse so in this case i will use to turn left right is 100 percent so right motor keeps running and when you turn the car the left one should turn less that's how it turns so in this case and i can make it minus 50. you can also make it minus 100 so it depends how much curve you want and when it's released again i'll make it zero zero similarly for the right key i have to turn like this so this should move more so left one should move more right one should move less so i make it minus 50. left one is 100 so when left one is 100 it will turn right so when this is released so you can see it's so easy that you can move your robot with your keyboard keys just using some keys functions let's give it a try i go to play i go back here and now i'm gonna press forward that's my forward that's my reverse and now i press left it's moving right i press right it's moving right i think i need to change the keys <laughs> what did i do wrong let me see again oh i put the same oh sorry when the left key is pressed right motor moves more and left motor moves reverse i did the opposite my mistake that's it so it's very so easy to edit your program now i will turn right so this is moving right now this is left again right and then forward and this is reverse so using your four keys of your keyboard you can control the manual motion this is the first exercise just to show you how easy it is to program this robot in a scratch in the next example we'll see how we can change its speed using some specific keys just like in the game when you're running you have to press shift and you run So we're going to use that in the robot as well by using variables. So let's see you in the next video. Thank you.